Yo, what's up dudes? Today we are doing a little bit of a commentary of a game. This is a game between IG and L-A-I-G. So basically the better IG because it got more letters in the name and the regular IG. I guess these guys are from Los Angeles. Is, is that a, is that in <laughs> L-A-I-G? <laughs> no. Okay. So, uh, but like, I have no idea what this game is. I just, look, seriously, I went through the whole Dota watch competitive games thing. And it was like, okay, let's go ahead and watch some. And everybody was like, give us money. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> and then, and then I saw this one. And they just were on like, no, you don't need to pay us money for this. We're going to play anyway. I'm like, okay, I can watch one of those. Apparently, this was casted by Join Dota, though. So if you really want to listen to Capitalist actually be professional about this whole thing, then I guess you could do that. Or you could listen to me spout nonsense for the next 40 minutes while we go ahead and watch the Los Angeles division of IG go up against the China division of IG. So... Yeah, I honestly have no idea what these guys actually like actually are called. None, no clue. Oh well. Oh well. So <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a shortcast, I guess. I'm terrible at these, but I want to be better. I want to you know. No, you know, I want to learn a bit. This is this is something I think is interesting. I think it's in it's a good skill to have if you want to be part of the Dota community, right? And I guess uh, you could say that I kind of am. Okay, I, I guess I have accomplished that, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Other than that, let's go ahead and actually talk about the heroes a little bit. We've got a Titan going up against a Sand King up top. This can honestly go either way. It really depends on how willing to go full retard the Sand King is. Like, if the Sand King really wants to, he can go ahead and max out the Caustic Finale and just blow it tight up. But then again, that means he won't have the Sandstorm or maybe not the Burrow Strike maxed. So, something along those lines is going to be a little bit of a problem. But it seems that Titan is just going to be winning this lane then. There's Lina supporting him though. I'm not really sure who is farming in this lane. Seems the Sand King. Yeah, actually it's probably the Sand King. Which is definitely the better choice. Like, out of these two, I really think the Sand King can make more happen with a bunch of money. But I really feel like I should actually just get the Caustic Finale. You know what? Fuck it. Right? This Tide, he's gonna he's gonna beat you up if you don't get it. Just because of the Anchor Smash, you know, reduces your attack damage so much. The Kraken Shell, you can't even hit him. Like, what are you gonna do against the Tide, man? There's not really much. Well, with the Caustic Finale, well, there we go. That's your solution right there. <laughs> oh, well. On the other side, of course, we got that tide. And something I think is weird as all hell is going to be Juan, Juan going on that Zeus up in the top lane. Currently pulling. So he also got Sentry Wards not bought by him. So that's something to keep in mind. He got these, but bought those. I mean, if the other guy is Juan, then... then oh, well. <laughs> but... I don't know what he's doing here, I gotta admit, is this some sort of support Zeus? Is this like the next level shit? Why would you do that? It's just a little odd to me, like, the, the thing about Zeus is that this hero contributes a lot of damage to any fight. Like, he can really put the hurt on any team, he just deals so much fucking damage. But, 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 he needs some levels to make that work. Without levels, he's just not that useful, right? He won't be able to deal that damage, because he does need to have the lightning board max, and he does need the static field to be maxed, right? And even though Zeus does actually scale into the light game, thanks to the static field being percentage based, he still tapers off a little. You know, he still does a lot of damage late, probably more than most, you know, spell dependent heroes light. Like, he's definitely going to deal more damage than Alina or something. But, you want to get an, uh, you know, you want to use him to get an early advantage usually. So, this is a little odd to have a Zeus support uh, tide. That is that's something I have never seen. I think it's quite fascinating. I guess it's interesting like he's using the arc lightning to, you know, make sure that he gets all of those last hits and actually controls the lane properly, which is which is an interesting idea. That's a cool way to go about it. I'm not really too sure if that's gonna work out though, you know. 
In the mid lane, we got the Death Prophet going up against the Tiny Io. So this is just a super powerful lane. And Oh, that was beautiful. It's, just, it's a shame that he won't be able to actually get the kill. But I love what he did there. Oh, 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 Io incoming. Okay, they got the Ghost. The balls are hitting. And uh, now a toss, and that's going to do it. And that's a beautiful, beautiful initiation right there. Using the, the toss to get the Death Prophet into the lane, right? To force her away from the position where she wants to be at and then just beat her up from that point which is fantastic and i thought he wasn't going to be able to get it but you got to keep in mind that actually this ability right here is its range is just silly <laughs> like tabo just got a ton of range so that's not really an issue oh wait allow me to actually go ahead and um no hotkeys spectator Mirror hotkeys, uh, spectator camera grip. No, where is it? I should have done this before, but now I'm too lazy to go back and start new camera grip. Wait, but doesn't this work? That's a little odd. Oh well, you know what? Forget about it. Wait, what's what's going on now? No, there we go. There's a nice little feature, though. like a thing you can do is where you press in the middle mouse button and then you can slide the camera around. This is a little, you know, this is hectic. This is not nice. This is not smooth. And there's an option that makes it smooth. And I'm... Oh, it should be in here. Um, smooth drag. Yes, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay, we got it now. Great. <laughs> so I guess we missed the kill. Uh you know, well, let's just disregard that. It's actually uh, surprising this, that the uh, Los Angeles division is doing well against the China division. I'm quite impressed by that. Oh, 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 Nature's Prophet. Mistakes were made. Oh, my God. Not even going to pick up the bounty. Why are you not picking up the bounty? Oh, son, you should have at least gotten that. Yeah, he will die right here. I can't really blame him that much for this. I don't actually know. Did they have vision on this? Wait. Yeah, they had vision on it. That's just a little silly, then. Okay, Death Prophet might die. No, it seems she's gonna be fine. Tiny gets taken out instead, and now it's the Io trying to get away. He does not have an ultimate. He's hasted, which is really nice. Haste is definitely the rune he wants to get away from this. But I guess invisibility would also work. But, uh, it seems he might be fine, though. He's definitely, definitely not out of trouble yet. He could still be caught. And these guys are going for him. They want him. If the Zeus somehow manages to magically, magically get two levels right now, he would be able to kill you with an ultimate. So get that out of there, little Io. Get that out of there while you can. Yeah, well. So that was actually a nice turnaround. But I honestly don't know. Like, you can see right here. This is the vision he had. This is the vision the Nature's Prophet had while TPing in. He definitely saw the Chikiro. There's just no way he didn't see him. So why did he TP in? That's just being silly. Oh, well. Oh, well. You know what, I guess that's fine. The one thing that's actually upsetting about this whole encounter, right, the one thing that really bothers me above anything else is that he didn't pick up the bounty rune. <laughs> you gotta pick up the bounty rune at least, you know? You're not getting away from that. Why are you even running? Turn around, punch him in the face a bit and pick up the bounty rune. And laugh in their face and be like, bitches, you might have killed me, but you will never kill my spirit! Or something like that, right? You know, you gotta show a little bit of an attitude. Like, that was just full-on panic mode, and I expect a little better of a team that's playing against IG. You know, like, IG is pretty fucking famous. And that's for a good reason, let's be honest. Oh, freaking well. You know what, that's a shame, but... I guess it's okay. I suppose it's okay. Ah, I lost move drag. It's like my favorite thing. Look at this shit. This is great, isn't it? You can use it to... Okay, anyway. So, it's actually quite interesting how the farm distribution is going. Like, the Spectre, of course, is the number one, and she should be, because she is the hard carry, the only hard carry in this game. Oh, we got a bit of an engagement up top. Oh, Spectre Illusion's coming out. She's actually gonna TP in right here. Nature's Prophet taking a lot of damage, and a big Ravage. Connects with actually only two heroes. Wasn't that big. <laughs> it was kind of okayishly sized. Mediocre Ravage. And the fight is still continuing. It seems Titan needs to retreat. Sanking in the middle is going to go invisible for a bit and try to get away. But honestly, the Staff Prophet, she now finally turns on her ultimate. Had that ready. 
for just a few seconds now, and wow, nice, nice wave of death, Crift Swarm, whatever the hell you want to call it, gets two free kills, and that's what, that was a terrible, terrible fight for Los Angeles right here. Uh, that's just terrible. You don't want to take these kinds of fights, and actually if we go ahead and just take a look at this right here, you know, that's, that's a big swing. It's, it's not insane, right? And it's actually kind of cute to think that they were ahead for a little while. But uh, it's, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world, but this is still pretty kind, pretty bad. This is still pretty bad. <laughs> so, you know. Mm, mm. The problem is that the kind of team they are playing is a team that wants to use early aggression to, you know, dominate the game before the enemy team gets anything going whatsoever. So, Tiny right here is supposed to get a lot of money going. He's got himself face boots and he's going for some drums, which are supposed to help him get those early kills and then hopefully pick up an early Aghanims and maybe get the BKB going and then just kill IG, right? That's the plan of LA right here. They want to kill IG. But, well, I guess that's obvious, but they want to kill them early, right? They want to go in and just smack him down, put, a, put an end to it before IG even gets to do anything. But that's not what's happening. And the problem is, on the other side, we got heroes like Aspecta, which is one of the strongest late game carries. If the game... I'm not saying that she's one of the best carries in the game, right? But she's unquestionably one of the most dangerous heroes, if fully found. She's just incredible. We've got Tide. This hero, if he gets a blink, refresh, man, I am not gonna mess with Tide, man. That hero's good late. Death Prophet, we all know Death Prophet is amazing, right? Like, she, it doesn't matter at which stage of the game, Death Prophet is just fucking amazing. <laughs> so, she is scary. And, you know, the, the thing is just that with Death Prophet, Death Prophet is kind of a tanky hero. At least that's what you build her for. You try to survive for as long as possible, so your ultimate deals as much damage as possible. Now, the same thing is actually kind of true for Spectre, right? Like, you try to build her a little bit more tanky, so the dispersion... Um, deals more damage, and you don't really need that much regular damage on this hero because you got the Desolate that al already allows you to hit pretty hard. So now you got two of these really tanky heroes that are strong in the late game, and you just cannot go up against that. Like, not as this kind of team. You need to finish this game before those two heroes take off. And if you are behind from the very start of the game, then that's not a good situation to be in. You gotta prevent that. You gotta prevent that, and you gotta keep going. Right from the very beginning. Gotta go straight to the face and stay there, right? Just build a freaking house in IG's face. That's what you're looking to do. And it's not what they're doing at all. They're so defensive. They're so... I don't know. They're just farming. I suppose to some extent that's nice. But honestly, if you're farming, this Nature's Prophet should have more money, right? Like, this Nature's Prophet should just be far more farmed than he is. It's just not acceptable with these guys. In the meantime, oh, Sanking, yeah, he's gonna Boros strike himself away, doesn't really stand a chance. Gets taken down very easily. In the meantime, we got a bit of a fight in mid lane. Ooh, nice Tether! Holy shit, that was one hell of a close relocate. Okay then, so I'm guessing Io might die. <laughs> might. <laughs> oh my god, he's hasted again! That son of a bitch, he's still dead, but... Actually, is he? I'm not sure. Io, you can't do it, buddy! Okay, he's fine. In the meantime, it seems there's not really much going on in the middle. Okay, that's great. Holy fuck! The clutch plays from this aisle. Wow, wow, wow. But he is just speedballing around with his freaking... <laughs> with his freaking haste rune all the time. That's crazy. Oh, there we go. We've got some banners. What, what do these banners tell us? Can I not zoom in? Nah. Hmm. Actually, I can use this. L L A Oh it's L A I wait L A I G So L A I gaming uh, I like L A more You know what this is L A gaming fuck it <laughs> the entirety of L A going up against AG Oh that's nice that's a great situation to be in actually fantastic fantastic burrow strike Jakiro's gonna die too wow What a nice setup it's beautiful, you know what? Just Burrow striking in like that, getting the Lina stun on top of it, that's brilliant. Now something about Zen King that you need to know is that actually you cannot epicenter after Burrow strike. If the enemy team uh, like got an instant interrupt. For example, Zeus got uh, the lightning bolt, 
his Suso, I think he should be able to do it no matter what, right? He should be able to interrupt the... Well, we don't really need to sit in a pause, do we? No. Oh! Okay, now we're going too quick. Nope! Don't really need to sit in a pause. <laughs> Disregard what's happening at the bottom screen. That's just a little silly. There we go. So, we've got uh, Zeus. Like, he's got the, the, the lightning bolt, which is gonna disrupt a champion. Right? If Sanking stuns to Zeus and then tries to go for an ultimate, he will not be able to pull it off because the interrupt is gonna come out first. And that's a bit of an issue. It is. It is. But what they did right there was beautiful because they just chained it with the light strike away. Got off that big epicenter, got three kills. That's exactly what they need. And if we now go ahead and just take a look at these net worth and experience or in the graphs, you can see that that actually made a big difference. It was a big swing. And that's really the thing about Dota right now, right? Like these these small engagements really are the ones that decide the game. Farming is still a big deal, but it's not the biggest of deals. You gotta make sure that you that you actually don't die that much because your heroes are worth a ton. <laughs> Look at the Sand King. <laughs> Just messing around a bit. He's about to pink, uh, pink, yes, pick up his Blink Dagger, which Blink Dagger turns Sand King into a new hero. It just does. He's good before he gets a Blink Dagger, right? Sand King is always a good hero. Once you get the Blink Dagger, Sand King is just a fucking god. Like, he just turns into a golden god of glory, and it's fantastic. I absolutely love that. So, Sand King, he's got one of the best suns in the game, if not the best sun in the game. The Burrow Strike is instant. That is the first big upside of it, the first big advantage. The second big advantage is that it is a line, right? So, it's not just stun a hero, but stun a line of things. Hmm. So what you can do with this is, once you get the Blink Dagger, you can teleport behind an enemy hero, and then stun that hero, and any other hero that's in the radius of the Blinks, uh, of the Burrow Strike, which should really be possible. You can stun both heroes at the same time. That's really what you're looking to do right here. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. No, why would you? Okay, 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 okay. Saw this back there. Yeah, okay. Get that. That's fine. He was uh, perfectly positioned outside of the Ravage, but I kind of <laughs> kind of thought they were going to maybe engage again, but that was really silly. Like, he made the right call right here. So that's good. That's good. Definitely a good idea. Definitely, definitely a good idea. Look at this Zeus, man. What is this shit? What is this? What are you doing, man? Really? You have not been useful whatsoever. I've not seen this fucker do shit yet. Apparently he used an ultimate once, but that's it. Like, he's been farming the freaking creeps. He's got 176 GPM. What's his, what's his creep score? Creep score, there we go. 24 lasted. Like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> Juan! <laughs> what is he up to? I'm so confused by this. This doesn't make any fucking sense. But you know what? I trust in Juan. We believe. We believe in Juan. Because who else is there to believe in if not Juan? I don't know. I don't know. Also, I'm well aware of the fact that he's called Juan. I don't care. He's Juan. <laughs> he looks Mexican, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, man. So now that I offended like half the world, let's go ahead and uh, talk about something else. How's the Nature's Prophet? This Nature's Prophet doesn't have shit, man. What's he even going for? I really think you should have gotten like some sort of farming item because Nature's Prophet is a hero that's got he's got one great farming ability. Oh well I guess he like he's got a bunch of farm actually this hero's like only farming abilities. No. But the, the teleportation is really what allows you to always be where the creeps are, right? So you can just farm all the time. Other heroes got downtime, so for example this tiny right here, you can see he's walking from this crab cab to this cab. And once he kills this camp, and once he kills this camp, there's not going to be a camp anymore. And they can't just casually go to the top lane, that's too far away. When I just profit, he's going to kill this camp, go to the top lane, take down this creep wave, going to teleport to the bottom lane again, take down this creep wave. You know, there's always creeps for a nature's profit. But to really properly utilize that, you actually need some item that allows you to punch those creeps, you know? 
And hand of Midas is not really that common anymore, just because it, you know, it's not not a fast item. I would like to see some lightnings. I'm just a big fan of that. Look at the Death Prophet messing with the IO. That's the meanest shit, man. That's not nice. It's not nice. She's invisible right here. I activated the ultimate before him. Oh, that is just... That's just mean, man. It's gonna go to the bottom. Uh, oh, nice. They got him. They got him. Yeah, the Snatcher's Prophet is dead. I don't know what this guy is doing. Like, this, this dude is almost as confusing to me as Juanus. Which I am still not sure what the fuck is going on with him. So we got a little bit of a change right here. This this is actually really nice. I like this interface, but it's just it's just so shitty because like in in professional shoutcast, like is this only like this annoys me very much, but it's just always like, This is the change and I immediately click it away. I'm just like, Okay, great. So what changed? I didn't actually get to see it. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Oh, Ravage. On just the Sand King. That seems a bit overkill. Okay. Now, I would get the Zeus pick up, right, if they were going up against a bunch of invisible heroes. Let's say... Slark? No, not really. Well, I don't know, I guess Slark, Wiki. The Sand King is definitely one of them too. But, you know, just a bunch of heroes. Mirana! If they were going up against Mirana, it would be perfect, right? Like, you're playing against Mirana, get Zeus, man! It's gonna get rid of any invisibility, no problem. Man, just give me give me a dollar and it's down for it, right? But oh no. Oh oh no no no. Oh yes, no, yes, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh Death Prophet is gonna die. Okay. <laughs> Wait, who am I cheering for? Ah, there we go. Death Prophet is dead. I'm not sure who am I actually I shouldn't be cheering for anyone, but I'm kind of cheering for this tiny right now because he looks cute. It's got the sweet agonums. Oh man, that's great. Okay, so he's running in. He is gonna be able to take down this this Chikiro. Yeah, that's all. Oh my god, what an overkill. These guys need to coordinate better. Like, that is just unnecessary. And now, luckily, the Laguna Blade doesn't have the longest cooldown. But it's actually got a really decent mana cost. And and I guess the cooldown isn't too, too short either. You know, it's 70 seconds. You won't have it this fight if they engage. So... That's just unnecessary, man. That was just complete overkill. And the thing is, that Laguna Blade didn't even arrive, right? It didn't deal its damage. It just was a complete waste. Because the, t the hero died before it hit. Laguna Blade got a slight delay on it, in case you don't know. Like, the, it seems pretty instant, but the damage isn't instant. I don't know, it's kind of like the enemy only gets hit by the end of the lightning, <laughs> which is a little odd. <laughs> That's not how firebending works. I've seen enough Avatar. I know how that shit is done. And that's not it. It's got a Shadow Blade, man. Why would you do that? They picked the Zeus so you could not go invisible and you buy a Shadow Blade? What is wrong with you? God damn it. These people are incompetent. <laughs> oh, man. Shadow Blade on, on Nature's Prophet in general is definitely not a bad item. But I wouldn't do it this game. That's just a little silly, isn't it? Going up against the Zeus? Yeah, I know the Zeus hasn't done shit. He, he might have just forgotten that he's in the game. I totally understand that. Like, I, I have. I don't remember Juan even doing anything. At all. Has he done shit yet? <laughs> Has he done anything? <laughs> oh, yes. At that one point, he actually revealed the Sand King. So, there's that. But, god damn it. This Shadow Blade is just dumb, man. Like, this is just this is just a bad decision. I'm not happy with that. I'm not okay with this. Oh, well. So... So, 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 what else do we have going on? Like, the thing is, right, I talked about it earlier. I think the strategy for uh, LA right here is going to have to be we, we need to finish early. And they have been going for that slightly. Relocate right here. Oh, that's actually not relocate. It looks similar though. And that's just profit. Yeah, kind of the same thing. But the strategy is we have to finish early. And you can see they are actually working towards that. They have taken a lot of these tower kills already. And I'm thinking I probably want to get this one and then actually go push the high ground. Yeah, probably looking to finish some core items first, like maybe a BKB on the tiny or I don't know anything on the Nature's Prophet. <laughs> they got a mecha on the IO, which is nice. That's actually a good amount of farm on this little guy. That's actually quite impressive. I would like to see him maybe pick up some mana boots or something. Oh, a gem. That's great too. Gem is always nice. You know, gem is one of those items that you definitely want to get if you are looking to just 
you know, really apply some pressure because now they can go out there and take down all of these wards, even though these are actually their own. But they can go in and take down these wards right here and this one. And maybe, you know, take a Roshan as a result. You never know. But they. I think they definitely have to stop making shit happen because you need to keep in mind there's a specter and damage she's getting farmed. She got a sacred relic now. <laughs> <laughs> she got a sacred relic, she picked up the casual vitality booster, this is of course going to get built into a heart at one point or another, but I'm thinking she's probably going to finish the radiance first, just so, she, just so she can farm, you know. And, yeah, this hero right here is a ticking time bomb. She will take over the game if you make it last too long, right? So you need to finish before the spectre is going to be like, no, you lost. You need to finish before that moment. And... They are playing towards their goal, but they aren't actually achieving much, right? I think all of these tower kills, they have been actually pretty graciously given to them. And IG is just like, you know what? We're not going to challenge them right now. It's fine. We don't have to worry about it. We can't just... As long as we manage to hold high ground, a few tower kills are not really that big of a deal. And I talked about this a few times, but towers are really just... You know... They are just bags of gold that sit on the map. You can eventually collect them. But if the game lasts long enough, you will collect them, right? Like, that's the thing. You can force an issue early and just take them. But they will eventually just be given to you. Because of the nature of Dota. So, in the moment where Guess what's happening the LA is pushing these towers and IG is farming, right? Let's say IG only makes like two-thirds of the money that LA is making through pushing towers. Well, the thing is just that LA is, is saying, no, we want this money right now. We want it instantaneously. We want it in this very moment. While IG is just saying, you know what, we're going to get this anyway at one point or another. Oh, big ravage. That actually hit a bunch of people. Now Spectre is coming in. Oh my god, that's two years already that both of the supports have fallen. And it seems that Tiny doesn't really stand a chance. Juan, yes, man, you got it. <laughs> You got it, that's gonna be a Rashan kill too. Oh my, that's a horrendous team fight. Natchez Prophet, of course, had to TP out of that one. It seems he's actually now decided to just say, fuck it, you know what? We're not gonna win this with straight up fights anymore, I don't think so. Let's go ahead and get a Necrobook going. Necrobook is also kind of cute against Death Prophet, I think, because I'm not entirely sure that it works this way, but it should. Right, like, <laughs> Dota is a game of oddities. Like, they, this might not work this way, but I think it should. And I think it does. Where, you know, you don't really get complete control of the, over the exorcism. The exorcism is an ability you activate and you just kind of hope that it kills things. And usually it does that. But if there's a Necrobook running around, the exorcism might just decide, yeah, man, we don't like that shit anymore. And kill it. At which point, you take a f like 600 damage to your face, which is a lot of damage. That's definitely something you want to deal with. Now... That of course gets, you know, kind of neg negated by the by the by the Black King bar. But it's just like ah there's still the possibility and I can actually be pretty scary. And you know what a hero like Spectre also doesn't like having her mana drain. I don't know, I think the Necrobook is a kind of a cute option, but I really wish this guy would actually just help his fucking team, you know? He's playing his own game. This is such an old school nature's prophet. And look at this courier, man. It's just Man, I feel so bad for this career. He went all the way up here, like, filled with hopes and dreams. It's just like, I just want to give you <laughs> your Necro book, please. And then he couldn't. And now he's just floating across the lands, sad and tired, traveling through trees. And he just doesn't get the point of it anymore. Has it all lost its meaning? Yeah, yeah, it has. And so he just goes back and turns into a frog instead. Because honestly, the life of a frog is just much easier than the life of a beaver on a rocket. Just this. Just this. So we got an Asokuras coming up on the Tiny. Which is actually a great choice. And what is he doing here? What is this? Asokuras. But he doesn't have it yet. Oh man, the big dodge from the tiny. Of course, that wasn't actually here, so it was the Death Prophet. She's gonna activate the Exorcism. Oh, nice relocate. Now, the IO is definitely coming back. I don't think. I don't think the tiny is, though. So the IO is probably just gonna die right here. The poor little fellow. The poor little fellow. Not much he can do. It's not hasted this time around. But he's definitely playing really well. Like, I am very much impressed with his relocates. I like this IO. This IO is a good guy, man. 
Not so much the nature's profit. Look at this fucker. Again, man. He's such a dick. And you, you know, if you, instead of mistreating the fucking couriers, you had waited like a split second, you could have had your necro book already. But no. No. There we go. Level two. That's pretty neat. So he's actually catching up on farm. If you go ahead and... You know, who cares about that stat anyway? Where, where's my GPM? There we go, GPM. Did I have this open all the time? <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, uh, Tiny is definitely ahead. And he should be. He needs to be. If Tiny is not ahead, then they are losing. I still think they are losing, though. Because, you know, even though, like, the kills... Yeah, you know, the kills already show that. They are slightly ahead on gold. But they are just very much not ahead on experience. And kills aren't really going in their favor. There's not really much going in their favor, let's be honest. And Sand King's gonna get taken out right here. He's got himself a BKB. And oh, wow. He actually got... Wow, he got the gem. So if he dies, that's a pretty big deal. Hmm, that was scary. The problem right now is like, what can what can LA do? Right? <laughs> what is their plan? <laughs> well, I already told you their plan. They want to finish early. But I don't know why this tiny guy went for an Assault Cross. Now, I do like the fact... Look. I do like the Assault Kuras in general. It's great on Tiny, because not only does it give you attack speed, it gives you a lot of armor to work with. Tiny is really not strong on armor. He gets a little bit from the craggy exterior, but his agility game is just non-existent. 0 0.9. <laughs> right, he doesn't have agility at all. So, the Assault Kuras in general is great. Attack speed, armor, minus armor, he makes you hit harder. So, it's just a good item in general. But... He needs a BKB right here. And that is that is why. That is why Io gets taken out right away. They don't want to deal with any Redo Gage shenanigans. And oh wow, that was a close one there. Hoo 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 hoo. You got lucky there. You definitely got lucky right there. But he needs to get a BKB. He needs it now. You see that right there? They, they got so many spells. They got so much spell damage coming out. The Chikiro, the, the Suez, the Titan. They need to do something about this. And he's just not. The Spectre, even she's actually going for a lot of spell damage with the Radiance, right? Assault Kuras is nice. Like, it's actually also great against the Death Prophet because the ultimate, you know, it's physical damage. So, there's that. But, uh, you need more than that, buddy. You definitely do. This is just not going to work out for you if you continue like this. You need a BKB and you need it now. <sighs> this is just upsetting, man. Oh, 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 oh. Going for the Spectre. Nice Ice Path. Great Ice Path. The Macro Pie on top of that. Jakiro trying to get away, but uh, not going to happen. The Burrow Strike, the Sandstorm, the Nature's Prophet casual toss into the battle. Fantastic. And Sankin gets taken out. The gem drops. Juan picks it up for maximum revelation. And now it seems the Nature's Prophet is going to try to deep TP the hell out of here. Not going to be able to do so. Tiny gets taken out in the background. And now it's only Iowa alive. Though I doubt that he actually... Did he, did he buy back? What the hell happened to the little one? Oh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this. No, I actually managed to survive that. It's crazy. No kidding. Yeah, okay, it was a terrible fight for them. You look at this, like the gold change, the experience change. And that's actually a lot about the experience. Like experience may not seem like the biggest deals, right? Everybody always talks about the gold. But you gotta keep in mind, at the point in this like at the point of this game where they are not right now, people are actually getting to the point where they are getting their level three ultimates. And getting the level 3 ultimate before the enemy team is actually a pretty big deal. You know, on a hero like Death Prophet, where it makes it all... Like, the, the exorcism turns out almost twice as powerful. It's just like, oh, That's... That's... Actually, it doesn't turn twice as powerful. But, you know, it does... It does get... It does get pretty, pretty much. Like, hey, how much? Like a fruit strong or something. It's, it's quite significant. Actually, we can do the math on that. It goes from 18 to 27. So, in fact, it actually turns a fruit stronger. Exactly. But yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, well. But Tide, he's about to pick up the level 3 Ravage, of course. Increasing the stun duration, increasing the damage, right? So, all of those things actually come into play a lot. And the hero level is a pretty big deal. Tiny, now finally got his level 16. This guy needs level 16 because only then does his ultimate really deal a ton of damage. Like, it already deals a good amount of damage before that. But, you know, level 16, that's what you're looking for. Those are the big numbers, and... Yeah, that was a pretty big deal. Oh, Spectre taking a lot of damage. She's gonna just try to run away. She might be able to... Oh, my God. <laughs> she actually gets away from this. You can't do that. You can't just let her get away with this shit. Oh, man. That's just not... 
Not well played, man. I don't know how else to say it. And he's still not going for a BKB. He's going for a Yasha now. Look at this. Look at this. What the hell is wrong with you? He needs a BKB. There's just, I, there's just no doubt in my mind that he needs a BKB. This guy is upsetting me. I'm going to look at somebody else. Wait, where the hell is the Io? <laughs> I do like the Io. That was a good guy. That was a good guy. Wait, where's net worth? That's right here. Yes. Oh, it's back to actually took over now. Ooh. Mm. Juan, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> I'm so confused by this guy. <laughs> you know? He's got nothing. <laughs> He's just trolling around. I don't know if he just picked Zeus because he was like, you know what, we're gonna win four versus five anyway. Fuck that shit. <laughs> just didn't want to play. It's like his his son. Does Juan have a son? It's just his his sister playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fuck this shit. You can't. Yeah, here you go. Have a bit of Zeus and mess around, and we really don't care that much. That's what this seems like. What is he doing? Oh well. He's got blink now, which is actually a cool item on Zeus. I do like that. Meantime, oh, nice bit pushing. So this is really gonna be their way of um, making something happen this game. They need to use this IO and Tiny combination to actually just you know apply some pressure on the towers, but. While the Nature's Prophet and being a son of a bitch combination is pushing somewhere else. And it's just tough to go up against that. But on the other side, if there's a team that can do it, it's a team like this one. Because back to Global. Chiki uh, not Chikiro, Zeus, Global, right? I guess Chikiro to some extent. <laughs> he's pretty fast and he's got a lot of range. <laughs> so, you know. You can't really split push that well against a team like this. Oh my god, Tiny. Did, did she just rules a creep for no good reason? Did she just misclick? What is this game? Is this not IG? <laughs> These guys are supposed to be good. What the hell? Bunch of scrubs. I can't do shit, man. I'm better than that. I'm so much better than these players. <laughs> probably gonna go ahead and wait out Roshan and get that guy. I'm probably gonna finish this game. Oh man, LA, what, what you gonna do about this? What you gonna do about this? Oh no, 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 Lena! Oh my god, is she gonna make it? Oh no, no, she's not gonna make it. There's just no way. <laughs> oh, she never stood a chance. Oh, no, poor lady, she got ruined. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, what did Tiny do? How was Tiny involved in any of this? Meantime, Spectre... Nope, who is it? Somebody. Oh, Tiny gets taken out. Seems that... The IO teleported back. Sanking is not also trying to retreat. Ah, IG. Man. You guys still gotta do something. Alright, go, go in there and actually just beat them up. Throw it. Just, Juan, I believe in you. You can throw this game. If anyone can, it's you. He's got himself an Uus now. This is like a super fast Zeus, if you think about it. He's got Blink, he's got Uus, he's got a lot of movement speed. He's got a lot of mobility, but I don't think he's really going to be able to do much with it. Nah, that's not true. Uh, this this guy, like Zeus in general, is definitely a hero that can make use of mobility. Because that allows you to stay alive, right? Throw out a few more nukes and he does deal a ton of damage. Meantime, we got a bit of a fight up top. Another fade gank on the Spectre, apparently. Once she picks up her heart, this game is just over. And she's not she's not far away from it. It's just not much of a... You know, this is, this is the issue right here. You can clearly tell there's one game that had a plan going into this. And just stuck to it and played it through. And the other, other, other team that kind of had a plan... And then didn't really commit to it and didn't really do much. And now they're just they're just losing horribly, right? They're just completely losing control over this game. And they were ahead for many parts of this, right? Like they weren't looking too bad at all. It's just that they didn't use the moments they had. They didn't use the opportunities. And in the meantime, Lena, yeah, I should be paying attention to that. <laughs> but oh well. Oh, the Titan are getting slowed by the creep, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did he just use that for the bonus damage? Okay. Meantime, Sanking going up against the Chikiro and a little bit of a 1v1 encounter. Tiny coming in, takes him down, no problem. 
And now we'll the barrel strike. These guys really need to coordinate better. In the meantime, Juan gets his first kill of the game. Actually, no, he's on a killing spree. <laughs> takes down the... Takes down the nature's prophet. Well, that was really nice, actually, I guess. So that wasn't the worst fight for LA, but it, it's still bad. It's still really bad. Always oh, running into the Death Prophet, where she activates the Exorcism. It's gonna chase him down. Spectre casting her ultimate as well. She's not gonna teleport in on him. She's gonna teleport in on the Io instead. And actually teleports in on him now. <laughs> takes down the Io. Pretty much takes him down. Or maybe not. Is she gonna get him? The Radiance is ticking. Yes, there we go. Takes him down finally. Juan, in meantime, locking down the... Tiny, Tiny is trying to get away. Zeus nukes coming down, hurting him a bunch, man. This guy is trying to run illusions, not really gonna help him survive. Ooh, he's got face boots in a bit, but nope, 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 nope. Not gonna be enough. A uh, poor little fellow. Uh, he's now got an ogre club. It took him 40 minutes to realize that he's gonna need a BKB in this game. He really should have known that from the very moment uh, the game started. He should have just should have just gotten it. I don't know what the point of the Usher is, right? Again, I get the Assault Cross. The Usher, in general, it's not a bad item. Mantis Die is actually really nice on Tiny because the Grow gives you bonus damage that is base damage. So it's actually kind of similar to Tarot Blade in that regard. Yes, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Oh, sanking. Yeah, that's that should do it. But, you know, it's base damage. So, illusions do get that damage and they get to benefit from it. And Mantis is actually a really powerful item on Tiny. It's good. Don't get me wrong. But it just won't help you this game. There's so much AoE flying around. So many spells. The illusions are gonna get murdered. <laughs> They're just gonna... You summon them and they die instantly. You don't really need the movement speed that much. You got an eye. Right, Io is already buffing up your movement speed. You got a bunch of lockdown on your team. Pretty much every hero except for Nature's Prophet got a stun. Oh, nice! Actually, turning it around at the top. Wow, I completely missed this. Holy shit, the barracks go down. So that's actually that's actually an advantageous trade for them. I cannot believe that. These sons of bitches. Yeah, man. Look at this. They took both racks top and only one barracks in the mid was taken. That's actually... Yeah, that's incredible. So that's that's the one way of winning this game at that point. He's finally getting his BKB. I need to pay better attention to the minimap. It's difficult. It's difficult as a commentator, right? You don't really pay that much attention to the to what's happening on the screen because oftentimes that's just not that interesting, right? This tiny he's farming, but I can't tell you that he's farming even while not looking at it. Instead, if I look at the minimap, I know that the Death Prophet is incoming. And I know that the oh my god, Ty you're just dead. He needs a BKB so bad, and he's gonna die right here again. No chance. None at all. That's so simple. It's so easy. And you pick up the IO as well, and then it's just gonna go ahead and push. Actually, I don't know. This, the Exorcism is about to run out, and they really do want that. Uh, I don't know if it's too important, though. Just because Spectre, she finally got her heart. So she's just she's super tanky. She deals a ton of damage. I don't think there's a way of stopping her at this point. I just don't see it, man. I just don't. But look at this. Nature's Prophet TPing into the mid lane. He's gonna take down his career really quick. This is not important. But I'm guessing this is just a fuck you move. <laughs> this is just... You know what? Nah, fuck you. Just fuck you. So the barracks are gonna fall. This time around, there's also no backdoor going on. Yeah. Spectre teleporting back into the mid. So there's not really much that's going to come out of this. Oh, Sand King. Sorry, buddy. But you're not getting away from that one. Yeah, this is just... This is just... <sighs> I don't know. Okay, so, again. This right here. This combination. They can just beat down your towers like it's nothing. So something they might just try to do is, you know, bait out the fight or something up top. Use the Snatcher's Prophet to maybe bait them into ganking him or something. And then just go ahead and push someplace else. You know, this is exactly it. This tower is going to fall like it's nothing. Tiny is incredible at beating down buildings. The range barracks is done. The bottom barracks... Oh, they're just going to get out. Uh, it's a shame they didn't get the mini barracks. But I, I think the range barracks was definitely the right choice. Because as you could see right there, wouldn't have gotten the mini. But this is really... This is actually something they can make happen if they just continue on like this. They need to be super careful and they need the BKB on the Tiny. Right? So the way to do this is really... They teleport in. 
They wait a little bit before they initiate. Then they run in, beat up the Tau. And then, um, hopefully the BKB is going to keep them alive, right? Because they're probably not going to focus down the Io. And most importantly, Io doesn't actually need to be in range to be attacked. Well, Tiny, of course, needs to be. So, activate the BKB on the Tiny. Keep him alive. Get the hell out of there again. And just hope that IG doesn't finish the game in the meantime. But... If they continue on like this, right? Again, barracks are actually even. Like, both teams lost three barracks. It's actually really, really cool. They still... They still have the problem of the Spectre and the... Yeah, and the Death Prophet and the Titans and all with his refresher. These guys are probably looking to finish it now. They just want to run in. Because they don't want to go up against the risk of Mega Creeps. They're probably just going to either push the top or just run into the mid and try to finish the game. Either one is really going to work. Seems to be the mid lane. That's just profit. Now, by the way, this is the coolest thing about Spectre, right? This is what makes it awesome. It may seem like, well, what the hell are you doing? Actually, it seems to me more like, what the hell is this guy doing? But, oh, 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 Spectre. Uh, she's going to activate the ultimate, just chase them away. In the meantime, they picked off the aisle. And, actually, oh my god, Lena died too. Oh, these poor little guys. They can't really do much against that. But you know, that's just the thing. That is just the thing. You're not gonna catch that Spectre anymore. She's too tanky. And while she's farming top, right, and their, their, their team, or her team, can actually just go into the mid, push down, whatever the hell they want to push. Spectre just needs to press one button and she's in the fight. And that what makes, that's what makes her so powerful. Presses one button, she's in the fight, ready to go. That's incredible. She's just diving the bell now. Uh, she's buying items, apparently. Oh my god! 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 <laughs> apparently, I completely missed this. Yeah, he's gonna TP out of there. These guys are just looking to finish the shit, man. Oh, man. And now, it seems that Tidehouse is actually in a bit of trouble. The TP in. Ah, Lena. Not gonna be able to do that. She's blinks. Ah, should have done that the other way around. Light strike away. Not gonna connect. The stun doesn't hit him. And he's gonna be just fine. Uh, but you see, ah, he's still backdooring. This is crazy, man. This is absolutely crazy. Look at that unusual old platinum baby Roshan. Interesting. Okay. But you know, these guys, they're, they're just not giving up. I don't like that attitude, but I think soon enough they're going to be forced to do. To just, you know, kick the bucket. <laughs> kick the bucket. I don't know. Death Prophet. This is weird, though. I don't see a reason for IG to continue applying like this. <laughs> look at this fucker. <laughs> Just look at him. Ah, it's going to get the hell out of there now. He's got a board in their base. Wait, how much vision does that actually give them? It's not that much. You know? I guess it gives vision of this, but it's a little weird. So the barracks are going to die right here. And see, yeah, they're just going to go for the finish right here. Okay. Um, meantime, Nature's Prophet running into the top. And Iotani teleporting in. They're going to try to beat down this tower. Going to try to go for this. Now, the problem is that Io is going to get that out of there in a second. But in the meantime, their base is also getting pressured. So, no. No, you needed to keep the tiny. God. Fuck. Well, that's it. <laughs> oh, man. These guys are a bunch of scrubs. Not as bad as Juan, who obviously just doesn't give a fuck, but god damn it. You could have you could have played this better. I'm so so disappointed in you. So disappointed in you. Yeah, this this the shrine is just gonna die. The Spectre is not gonna let this live at all. Damn it, you could really have done something right there. You really could have. You wasted it though. Duh, you wasted your opportunity. It's upsetting, man. It's upsetting. Ah, oh, how... You had it. You had to... Ah. <laughs> oh, well. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave some feedback about my horrible commentary skills. And uh, see you tomorrow. Leave a rating, too. Bitches.